Here are Tokyo's must-see attractions that will help you avoid the busy tourism while still enjoying your trip with the locals. If you are a Harry Potter fan, I would suggest visiting Akasaka, especially during the night, as the nightlight decorations make this place more realistic. In the center of the exit gate, you are greeted with a time turner used by Hermione, a magical device used for time travel from Harry Potter, including many paintings from the school of Hogwarts, making you to feel like you're actually in the wizarding world. You can even find a store that sells plenty of Harry Potter goods, from authentic Hogwarts robes, wizard wands, and many more merchandise. A magical place for you to get some magical souvenirs. Next, we have the Duan Avatar Robot Cafe version beta. Unlike any normal cafe, the owner actually creates a special concept, making it a unique cafe that allows disabled people to operate robots remotely to serve customers, allowing them to rejoin society without being hindered by their conditions. While dining, you can actually interact with the person who's operating the robot. And this is our operator for the day, Mr. Koki. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Right here, Mr. Koki is actually demonstrating what he sees when he's interacting with us. Make sure you make a reservation because space are limited. I will highly recommend that you visit this cafe. Not only a touching and wonderful experience for the visitors, but also a great support cost by creating job opportunities for the disabled individuals. Definitely worth checking out. Ever wonder the origin of Japan's robot in Ningyocho, which translates to Doll Street, is where the traditional culture has prevailed. In the past, this place was a bustling hub for doll makers and merchants, which leaves these iconic looking mechanical dolls in the streets of Ningyocho. It is also known for its street food and snacks, especially Ningyoyaki, a popular snack in Tokyo, which are red bean cakes shaped into dolls, particularly Itakuraya, a shop that was established since the Meiji period back in 1907 and still using the same recipe till this day. I'm actually eating them right now while I'm editing. Gotokuji Temple, a serene temple in Setaga district that is known for its manekineko statues that are believed to bring good luck to their owners. This temple is not as crowded as other popular temples in Tokyo, allowing visitors to enjoy a peaceful atmosphere while learning about some interesting Japanese culture. An interesting trivia by Gotokuji Temple, the upraised right hand of Manekineko of Gotokuji holds no coin, while Manekineko does in general. According to this trivia, the Manekineko does not bring you happiness directly, instead it brings you a chance to link with people, and it is up to you whether you can make it work. If you live in constant gratitude, luck and happiness comes to you spontaneously, which is why the Manekineko of Gotokuji holds no coin to share this knowledge. The 2D Cafe in Shinokubo is a cafe of pure artwork. It features a unique concept where everything from walls to the furniture is designed to look like it's from a 2D animated world. A nice and cozy environment for you to enjoy a cup of coffee like your indie manga world. Don't forget to try out their 2D cake that matches the scenery of the cafe. Not only is worthy for your Instagram snap, it also tastes really good. If you're looking for real authentic Japanese ramen, you have to try out Menya Imamura, an authentic ramen shop located 2 minutes away from Sugamo Station, offering a simple menu with two types of authentic ramen, shoyu ramen and shio ramen. But what makes the customers return over and over is their rich flavoring soup that leaves an unforgettable taste in your mouth and their signature smoked chicken which is grilled in front of the customers. Now that's authentic. If you love ramen, you definitely want to add this to your Tokyo foodie bucket list. As this shop is not a franchise, it is currently the only one available in Japan. Keep in mind to prepare cash as credit cards are not yet acceptable here. If you're not informed about the entry requirements for visiting Japan, check out this video for reference.